Love you. Break. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, afternoon, evening, wherever time it is where you're at. My name is Daniel the Big O. I'm out here with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his blue is green and sometimes it turns purple hair. Today, the Fluffy Poodle and I have to get ready to fly. That's right, the Fluffy Poodle and I have to fly to California for a family emergency. We have to make sure we have all the paperwork, all the shot records, the dot forms signed, and everything that we need for us to fly to California. California. So join us while we go to the vet, the store, and a couple other places to get everything ready for the airplane trip. Hey dog, it looks like we gotta turn the defrost on. It's a little foggy up front. We got the defrost on now. First stop is the animal hospital. All right, dog, we're here. I gotta get your leash. Let's get out and uh, go inside. Fluffy, break. First thing we gotta do when we come in, we gotta weigh them. Fluffy, place. See how much he weighs. 47 and a half pounds. You're getting big, Fluffy. He's getting big. It's all that hair and all that uh, winter weight on him. Yeah. Good morning. How are you today? Good. Just the normal things heartworm, bleeding, take. Um, and then shot records as well. Okay. Fluffy, stand. Heel. Y'all are awesome. Thank you, and we'll see you again. Load up. I say this all the time, quick service dog tip, don't shut this door until this door is open. How's your service dog supposed to get you if both doors are closed? Hey Fluffy, we got the paperwork, we got your meds. Um, it's time to go over and check a duck hole real quick, possibly get some beef, and then we gotta go get you some food and treats for traveling. Make sure we have everything squared away for his bag. Mm. First pond doesn't look like there's anything on it. Um, we have some water in the field, Fluffy, but normally there's at least one or two or something going on down there. Hmm. It's like, where did these ducks go? Where did they go? I don't see absolutely nothing on these ponds either, Fluffy. We gotta go check the final pond and then we gotta go pick up some beef from our farmer. This is very odd for our area not to have any geese, sandhill cranes, or ducks. It's just been a very odd and weird year. Yeah, dog, you already know when we pull into Fallen Maple Farm, don't you? You already know, dog. Oh, their beef is so good. It's mouth watering. Mm, their honey, their breads, their jams, their soaps, their everything is just awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's uh, get out and uh, pick up this meat. Mm. Now, uh, she don't like being on camera, so I'm not going to put her on camera, okay? But uh, we'll be right back here in a second, so stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. We just had an awesome conversation with Brenda at Fall of Maple Farm. We also got a whole bunch of that ground beef. Oh, look at that. It looks so delicious. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lip smacker. We got ourselves a cart. Fluffy, he is right here next to my side. And we got to go find us some of that food for the trip. Good check-in, buddy. Good check-in. Good, another one. It's only been, what, six seconds? The third one. Wow, can we get one more, Fluffy? Oh, yeah, there's that many in only about 10 seconds. It's awesome when he checks in on me, making sure everything's good. 
Let's figure out, ooh, they have clearance. Oh yeah, 50% on clearance on all Carhartt dog stuff. Oh yes, oh yeah. This is some good, good stuff. I didn't see any of these that I, I really like and they, they don't have the attachments that I want on them like this one has. So let's go get your food, buddy. A lot of you ask, what do I feed the fluffy poodle? Um, I feed him Purina Pro Plan. Um, it's good stuff. I also do not give him the big giant bag because that goes stale quicker than a small bag. So it just gives him a little bit fresh food um, and it's really good. This time we're gonna use chicken and rice formula because uh, he's already been getting that salmon and it's a wrap on the waterfowl season. Is that one good for you? He got the sniff test, it was approved. Real quick, before any of you do any hating or saying, hey, don't feed him that or feed him a different one, look, feed whatever you think is best for your animal and what you can afford, all right? That's the two biggest things, figure out what's best for you and your animal. Don't criticize somebody else because that they think that's what's best for them. Now we gotta go get you some treats or a toy. You ready? Let's go. You know, I really can't find the treats that we normally get you. They don't have them here or they ran out of them. Might have to go to the different store. Might have to go to a different store. Comment down below, can dogs have a bone on an airplane? Can dogs have a bone on an airplane or is there a size limit? Obviously, I don't want to give them a big, huge, giant one. But, you know, something uh, small like this, you think that'd be good for him on the airplane? Got his food loaded up. Also got some of them cashews and some of those nice warm pecans. Oh, these are delicious. This tastes like a pecan pie. And these cashews, I haven't had them before. Let's do a quick taste test and then we'll head on over to the pet store and get you some of your nummy nummy for your tummy tummy. Look at these, mmm. They're covered in like sweet goodness. <laughs> I haven't had the cashews. Cashews are covered in it too. Mmm. Mmm. Ain't nothing like sticking a nut in your mouth. Mmm. That's delicious. I'm gonna swallow that nut because it's so sweet and good. Who else need a drink after they swallow that nut? Oh. Wow. I needed that. Hey dog, we just got a phone call from my son saying that he needs some money for something at school. So we have to run over to the ATM real quick, grab some money and drop him off, drop it off for him at school. We gotta do this quick, fast, in a hurry. Then we'll run over to the pet store. Fluffy six. Who else puts their dog in the six position to watch your back while you're at the ATM or at the counter? Let's pull out this cash and we'll see you guys here in a second. Fluffy stand, heel, good boy, good six. Fluffy load up. Now we gotta run over to the school real quick. Fluffy break. Good heel. Good, perfect timing. I came inside and my daughter's right here. Give me a hug, give me a quick hug. I love you, you have a good day at school, okay? And it's also perfect timing because my son's walking right down there. In respect of the school and all the students, I can't film. We'll see you guys here in a second. It's awesome going inside the school, seeing all the smiles that the fluffy poodle and I put on their face. It's just awesome. It really is. A lot of people follow us and watch our videos and we're at just about every sporting event because of the cheer, my daughter being a cheerleader and uh, my son playing every sport there is. <laughs> You know they have all these treats right here in this section. Oh, I love it. They have a whole bunch of these Orion treats. I usually get the Orion or the Akana. The reason why is because they're freeze dried and um, I ain't gotta worry about like giving them so many. Today we're gonna get the lamb recipe and also the original. Those are some of his favorite. We was gonna get the duck one, but I mean, 
He's been eating duck and fish a lot lately. So let's get him a little something different. Fluffy, you ready? Come on, boy. This is one of Fluffy's favorite sections right here. Nothing but toys. We got him in a sit, stay real quick. Um, we're just gonna do a little bit of a uh, little bit of fun, a little bit of training. Set these treats down right here, and we're just gonna start tossing. Leave it and having fun. Leave it, okay? Telling him to leave it and showing him that hey, you got to just not touch anything when that vest is on. I know. This is one of his favorite things. He loves the rope. Ah, look, I just playing with it. I'm playing with it, but he can't play with it because we're in the store and I told him to stay and don't move. Train wherever you are, wherever you are. It'll help the longevity of your dog. You ready, Fluffy? Come on, boy. Come. Good. Heel. Now, since we finished up a little bit of training in the toy aisle, we got to go pay for these snacks and then head on home. So let's do that, and we'll see you guys here in a second. You know, dog, uh, I'm excited and sad that we have to go on this trip. I hope everything works out perfectly. And until next time, you guys know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his bluish greenness. Sometimes it turns purple hair. We'll see you guys tomorrow on an awesome episode. Stay tuned. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye. Give me a high five, buddy. Bye-bye.